if you're saying 12 to 18 months, 25, he's saying 12 to 18 yep. months. You're saying and I agree with that. I now think that's extremely aggressive because of it the phases. It is extremely aggressive. It is. Not, it, it is. Even 12 to 18 months. Yes. It is. Yes. Okay. But it let's is. just say they can pull it off because Trump's going to put pressure on them and they're mm -hmm. going to yep. do it 12 to months. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. At what point are do you think, best case scenario, we'll have it ready that if we have a million cases, we can give a million people vaccines? It, could that yeah, be 12 months from now? Yeah, you don't give it to them when yeah. they have the, you give it to them before they get sick. So at right, some, like a flu shot, you right, get them when the season's so, coming. So at some point. So then that means you have to give it to 100 million people. It's <laughs> not like correct. you're giving it to a million. Yeah, well, let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let, let me put a perspective on it. So some point in this, um, this development, of phase one, phase two, phase three, there could be some point in a phase through three area where we're beginning to see that we're not seeing untoward side effects or, or safety issues and we're seeing some evidence that's, that's effective. There could be a point before it's actually licensed if everybody, you know, the scientific community, it would come to a conclusion that maybe uh, this vaccine can, we can go ahead and begin to use it before it gets FDA licensed under what's called an emergency use authorization because there is growing evidence and sufficient data that would warrant its safety and, and efficacy in a, in a, with the risk, uh, a, a, an elevated risk. Now, there wouldn't be probably the, the scale that might be need, needed, but we could also then think about who would be prioritized to get a, a vaccine in, in, limited, spots, in, in limited quantities yeah. in hot spots. And yeah. so who would that be? It, well, you know, we, we, uh, we are putting our healthcare workers in, on the front line of this. And so we would have to think about, you know, is it our healthcare workers? Is it our, is it, is it the, the, the population that's, you know, most at risk? But those are some of the kind of ethical questions that would have to be addressed, you know, at that time. And we're going to have some ethical questions right now and just, you know, hospital preparedness as well. So, so let me ask you a question. Here's cases. Okay, I'll just give you cases. The number on how it's doubling, you've seen this before. In Italy this, this is Okay. Yeah. So I got, I got a question for you with what we're seeing with charts on assuming... Uh, these cases keep doubling. And I ran it at four days, six days, and 10 days. And this is just U.S. In four days, if it doubles every four days, we're looking at 8 million cases by May 1st, just in U.S. Let's just say that's too aggressive, four days. Let's take it to six days. Six days, uh, we'll be at uh, 4 million by May 19th, okay, if it's six days. 4 million. That's still a big number by, mm -hmm. by 519. If it doubles every 10 days, we're looking at September 4th, all of U.S., July 2nd, 4 million cases. If we got 4 million cases and we use the 2% number, 4 million, 2%, 80,000. Right. 80,000 is seven times bigger than what we had with the H1V1 right. in, uh, in uh, right. 2009, right. 2010 mm -hmm. with Barack Obama. Where we right. had, what, 57 million cases? Right. I don't know right. the exact number, right. but we had uh, right. quite mm -hmm. a... Uh, mm -hmm. So if we're going this direction, okay, if we're going this direction, and, and, and we're looking at the numbers that way. It's going to double at that rate. Okay, uh, we don't have the vaccine. We're not going to have it for 12 months to give it to people, 12 to 18 months. What, what are we doing there? We, have, we, don't we have, have the drug. Well, that's why, that's why, that's why yeah, we actually, you know, we, we, I think you're putting way too much emphasis just on a vaccine solution. And that's why... So we the, have the solution right now with a drug to fix it? No, not now. Uh, you're putting way too much emphasis on a medical countermeasure as the fix right now. Because public health measures are actually tried and true, and 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 we were talking about the co you know, community mitigation, uh, community uh, social distancing measures are going to be very effective, and they're buying us some time until the antivirals or the vaccines come on. So, so the that's why what we're doing right now in sure. the social separate community um, social distancing interventions are essential. Because those numbers are kind of frightening, and you're, all, you're also assuming we'll know the numbers because we have enough laboratory diagnostic capability. Uh, but that's another, you know, and that's another, you know, we can well, talk about that in a minute. Uh, but uh, but you're, you're really explaining kind of the, you know, the, the classic rules of epidemiology and, and the, you know, the doubling and the replication. Uh, and this is, we're, we're, are still in an exponential growth phase of what we can see, of what we've been able to exponential diagnose. Exponential growth. So this is not a linear growth. It doesn't go from one case to two no cases to three. It. Mm -hmm. it, it doubles and then it doubles again and then doubles again. Yes. That's, the, the, that's what exponential means and that's very dangerous. Sure. That's why there's a huge risk to this. Jerry is, um, this is where we might disagree <laughs> a little bit, okay? I, think the, I don't think the American people in a democracy are going to take, are going to show the discipline, particularly younger people, mm -hmm. to 
to implement, they should. I'm not mm -hmm. saying they shouldn't. I'm saying that they, I think we're going to have trouble with it after two or three months of this. Oh, yeah, we can't okay? go that long. Yeah. And if we don't have uh, drugs that can kill the virus, by the end of that period, we're going to have trouble. So, so I think the most important is not to focus on the vaccine. The president is focusing the vaccine. That, in my view, that's a mistake because it's too far into the mm -hmm. future. The, the, the measure that's going to relieve us from, and the economy from this, uh, the damage that's being done is these uh, drugs that already exist. They're simply testing them to see whether they're effective against this disease. That is what is going to allow us to relax these social uh, measures that are, 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 are the thing to do now. And we need to emphasize to young people they cannot simply dismiss this and go to a bar right. and have fun with their friends. That is, does not work. It defeats the whole purpose of this.